Hey, Tom here with your Wild Post Game Reactions for January 27th. Wild played last night on the 26th. They ended up playing the Los Angeles Kings. My prediction before the game was that the Wild were going to end up winning 3-0. And my prediction could not have been farther from the truth. The Wild ended up actually losing last night to the LA Kings on a final score of 2-1. They actually played really, really well last night. I would say that if you had to give them a percentage, the Wild actually played really, really well, 60 to 70% of the time. They ended up actually out shooting their opponent last night and they recorded 33 shots on goal. So you might be wondering if the Wild played so well last night and they outshot their opponent, then what contributed to them not winning the game last night? Well, there is a very, very popular movie called The Mighty Ducks. And then there's a scene in that movie that kept coming into my head last night. And the first time that the Ducks, who are at that time still District 5, play the Hawks, there is a scene where Charlie Conway is on a breakaway. During the breakaway, he winds up for the slap shot, completely misses, and falls flat on his face. And to add insult to injury in that scene, he slides into the boards, only to get up and to get checked headfirst into the boards. As he's making his way back to the bench, Emilio Estevez, who plays Gordon Bombay, looks at Charlie and utters the quote, Keep fanning, Charlie. Keep swinging. Maybe I'll give him a cold. That's kind of how last night went. The Wild just could not convert on second chances last night. There were numerous times last night where the Wild were in prime position for one-timers. There was one point in the game, and I don't remember if it was Parise or who was dishing the puck, but they dished it over to, I believe, either Nico, Nico Strum or Kevin Fiala, he had a wide open net to shoot at, and wouldn't you know it, the puck flipped up, he went to shoot it, completely missed, hit the heel of his stick, and it was a big whiff. The Wild just could not convert on one-time chances last night. They had plenty of opportunities where they crashed the net last night, and it almost seems like they heard what I was talking about, because they tried to get to the front of the net quite a bit last night, and they really tried to use Greenway, like I was saying in my post game yesterday, to try to get him to the front of the net to create that traffic for those rebounds. They had numerous opportunities where Peterson was down and out and they would keep chipping at the puck and just keep trying to put it in and they just could not convert on those second and third chances. Had they been able to convert on those, I think we would have seen a much different score, but they just could not convert on those. The one goal that the Wild did get last night, they actually scored in that exact way. I believe it was Kevin Fiala was behind the net and tried to wrap around and uh, Peterson ended up stopping it and he kind of kept whacking at the puck and it got under him and I don't remember if Fiala was credited with the goal. Uh, Felino was right there and I think he tapped it in but they ended up crediting him with the goal. Kinda. When the goal happened they ended up going to video review because prior to that play uh, Felino was actually uh, down in front of the net and they tried to claim that as he was battling for the puck, his stick might have hit Peterson's head. And so they were trying to determine if it was goalie interference. They ended up determining that it was not goalie interference because the goal actually happened about 15 to 20 seconds later. And so they decided that it did not impede his progress whatsoever in him stopping it. So the Wild actually ended up losing last night 2-1. to one. Uh, The first goal was kind of one of those goals that L.A. scored that it was just a really hard goal for Kakanen to stop. They ended up putting it over his blocker side, and sometimes those goals are just really hard for the goalie. You got the weight of the stick plus the blocker. Sometimes they are just not able to get that shoulder up fast enough. The other goal was actually one of those where he was a little bit farther back in the net, and he was just not able to get that glove hand up high enough. It was kind of one of those where you almost kind of chicken wing it behind you, and he just could not get his glove hand up there in time. So, with that being said, the Wild actually play the LA Kings once again tomorrow night. So, we'll look for them to hopefully rebound from this loss. Like I said, they played fairly well. They just couldn't convert on those chances. So, I'm guessing today that the Wild are going to be spending a lot of their practice converting on those second and third chances. The power play, again, last night just couldn't get anything going. I think they were 0 for 3 last night. So hopefully they work on the power play a little bit. They work on some of those second and third chances. And hopefully we'll see them convert tomorrow night. And hopefully tomorrow night's game will be a completely different score. 
So the Wild play, like I said, once again tomorrow night. Uh, they play the Los Angeles Kings at home before they end up playing a four-game series against the Colorado Avalanche. So that is all for today. Remember to hit the like button. Remember to subscribe. Uh, turn on notifications. And tomorrow we'll try to get a video uploaded on what to look for in the upcoming game against the LA Kings. Thanks for watching for today.